Hey, hey. One more video around that today. And obviously my internet is a little bit slow. I'm having to adjust to my mobile hotspot right now. It's currently trying to do its best to get these videos uploaded. So they'll be uploaded at a snail's pace today. Um, but let's talk about the FCS playoffs now. If you haven't really been paying attention, I said I was going to do a video on it. And here it is today. Here it is. It is here. We are all here. I think I might have another video out too today. Um, but we'll talk about that with, when the time comes. So let's talk about the FCS playoff picture. 24 teams have been selected to go to the playoffs. 10 are already conference champions. They get to go. Three champions do not get to go at all because of various reasons. For the Ivy League, it's because of academics. For the BAC and the SWAC, it is perceived. For me, at least in my opinion, it is because that those teams cannot really compete at the playoff level. And every time, every time we talk, every time I try and talk about the BAC and the SWAC in a positive light, they just the egos and the politics takes two steps back. Like, like, yeah, let's talk about South Carolina State, who was eight and three in the um who got left out of the playoff field. We'll talk about them first. Um, they lost to the only two teams that, you know. They, they lost to the only two teams that they played in, 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 in conference. They are technically third place in their conference. Lord A&M is ineligible because of, you know, as usual, HBCU schools breaking the rules. That rhymes. Uh, so, and, and North Carolina A&T was the representative that gets to go to the, um, to the um, celebration bowl. It's the SWAT champion who will be determined on December 7th. And so I don't understand. And, of course, you know, obviously South Carolina State had a win against Wofford, the only team in the field. But you didn't have enough wins. Sorry. You didn't ha You didn't have the schedule either. Sorry. You're not in. Go home. Go to bed. Now, there's another team that is, feels a little miffed, but they have five losses. And that is Southern Illinois. The Salukis of the Missouri Valley, and they and, they, and obviously the committee this year wanted to come back to balance the fields out, but uh, they didn't. They didn't have a win against. The, apparently, they didn't have a win against anybody. Yeah, they had an FBS win. That's it. That's it. That's all the Salukis had. So they didn't. They didn't get in. Kennesaw State was ten two. But, and they had two victories over, you know, um, NIAA teams, but eh, they had 10 wins. You know. The other teams that got left out were Towson, who has five losses, and New Hampshire, who also has five losses. Yeah, there's a five loss team in the field, I believe, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's take a look at the bracket here. Let's take a look at the actual bracket. So, and I think it's really setting up for James Madison, North Dakota. That's what everybody's saying. That's what it's probably going to be. So, James Madison is number two, North Dakota State. Undefeated North Dakota State is number one. Weber State for the Big Sky, nine and three, number three seed. Um, Sacramento State is also a seeded team for the Big Sky. Number four, Montana State. And Montana, Montana State is number is the fifth seed. Montana sixth seed. South Dakota State, who has four losses now. Again, one of those losses was against a ranked Minnesota, and it was a close game. So obviously, a seeded team that kind of helps Minnesota out a little bit, not a lot, but that's not really the point here of this conversation. Uh, but South Dakota State. Eh, hmm. People were surprised. Even South Dakota State fans were surprised they got a seed. So they're they're going, going. And the eighth final seed will be Central Arkansas. They didn't even capture – well, they earned a share, as I'm reading here. They earned a share of the Southland title. But uh, 
I guess some people are kind of miffed on the seating there, but you know. And as we continue on here, looking at the other teams that are in this playoff bracket, Monmouth is a playoff team. They won the Big South. Again, um, the Northeast, only a one loss in Central Connecticut State, but um, apparently Central Connecticut State did not bid high enough. And the Northeast Conference is apparently very, very weak in the eyes of the committee and in the eyes of most people. So they are going to get the ball on the road. Austin P was the Ohio Valley. Remember two years ago they were left out. Patriot goes to Holy Cross. Again, they are the team that has five losses, but they won their conference. So Pioneer League, the Pioneer Football League, you know, uh, the non-scholarship league. Uh, San Diego 92, they win. Southern Conference, yeah. Wofford gets the Wofford gets the nod there. Southland goes to Nickel State because of, I guess, the tiebreakers and stuff like that. They are 8-4. Wofford 8-3. The other teams that are in Albany from the CAA, um, again, Central Arkansas, who was seeded. You know, they are 9-3. Furman from the SOCON, 8-4. Um, Illinois State from the Missouri Valley, 8-4. Kennesaw State, again, like I said, for the Big South. They are 10-2. Montana, Montana State, North Dakota, an independent. I'm not sure what in the world happened here to where North Dakota got in. I guess it was because of some victories they had. Um, you have Sacramento State, South Dakota State, Southeastern Louisiana, who gets in from the South when they have four losses. Um, Southeast Missouri State, the OVC from the Ohio Valley, 9-3. Uh, Northern Iowa from, from the Missouri Valley Conference, 8-4. And Villanova from CAA, 9-3. So, um, first round games here. Most of these will be on ESPN3 on November 30th. And that will be um, North Dakota at Nickel State. First round, Illinois State at Southeast Missouri State. Um, Central Connecticut State at Albany. Furman at Austin P. Kennesaw State at Walker, two triple option teams there. Villanova at Southeast Louisiana. San Diego, uh, a won their conference at Northern Iowa. At Holy Cross, who also won their conference at Monmouth. So most of these games will take place early in the day. So I'm not going to really impede on, you know, the major college football matchups and stuff like that. But yeah, this is going to be interesting to see at the very least, you know. And as we move on down the second round games, we'll talk about them in a moment. Um, talk about them real quick. So the Nickel State North Dakota game winner, they'll be going to North Dakota State. The Illinois, the Illinois State, Southeastern Missouri State winner will go to Central Arkansas. The Central Connecticut State Albany winner will go to Montana. So that's going to be a long trip. The winner, Furman and Austin P will go to Sacramento State. The winner of Kennesaw State and Wofford will go to Weber State. The winner of Villanova and Southeast Louisiana will go to Montana. The winner of San Diego and Northern Iowa will go to a South Dakota State team that maybe doesn't really deserve their seat, but it doesn't matter. And the Holy Cross Monmouth winner will go to James Madison. So that's gonna that, that that's just the second round right now. And I don't know about the third round yet, um, but we'll talk about the third round once we get there. And once we get to the second round, now I won't be paying attention for the most part for the first two rounds. So because of conference championships and major FBS games. But once you get to the quarterfinals and stuff like or uh, quarter, yeah, the quarterfinals, I can't, I can't remember. But. The national championship this year will be on January 11th. It will be at noon Eastern time, so that's 11 a.m. for um, for most of us that watches this channel. And it will be on ABC, which is a great, great surprise and a great addition. You know, really, really fun, really fun game. So we don't know when the third, when the third round games will be, but they'll be on Friday and Saturday. So look to watch those i'll be looking to watch those and pay attention to those but that's gonna pretty much do it y'all 
we are here. The FCS gets their chance to shine on this channel. I'll be talking about them, you know, as time goes on, especially when we get to the later rounds when they're actually televised on, you know, actual ESPN networks and not ESPN3 or ESPN+. Plus. Disgusting. But it's going to do it, y'all. Y'all take care today, and we'll see when these videos get uploaded because it takes a while right now. Um, Hotspot, it's very, very slow. So that's going to do it today. See y'all tomorrow for the NFL recaps. Boy, am I not prepared for those. And the college football playoff top 25 reaction. We'll see y'all tomorrow for those. That'll do it for this week. And then that'll do it for this week aside from this other video that I have to make today. So, yeah, it's good to do it. Y'all take care.